Hey, how's it going everybody? Today I wanted to talk about the uh, current state of PlayStation because in my opinion they're kind of uh, messing up big time. I know this news came out like a week ago, October 2nd, but I wanted to cover it today because uh, I was very upset. I've got to be honest and uh, let's go through it. So. Wario 64 posted a week ago, Horizon Zero Dawn Remaster slash Remake and a multiplayer game are in development. Said to have improved lighting, textures, animations, models, and accessibility options. Multiplayer game may feature a form of co-op. So I want to stop right here already. Accessibility options, fantastic, great, but how accessible is it really when the game is $70? Most likely. Yeah, because I, I know some people are just like, well... It's a remaster, won't be as expensive. Well, this is the Jim Ryan era, so I wouldn't be so confident. Because, uh, well, Jim Ryan doesn't really know what he's doing, quite honestly. So, I would not be too confident that this is just going to be a $70, or not a $70 remake of a game that we don't need a remake of. Also, if they really wanted to add accessibility options, they could add it right now to Horizon Zero Dawn for free. But uh, I guess that would just be too much work, you know. I understand. And then VGC also was saying that it's true and stuff like that. So it, there's reliable sources here saying this stuff. So, uh, so I've seen a lot of people say, well, what's the big deal? You know, it probably won't be $70. And even if it is, this gives new people a great way to play Horizon Zero Dawn. And I'm going to stop you right there, because number one, I was against The Last of Us remake, and people's defense for it, I did not agree with at all. Here's why. So people say, oh man, it's a great entry for people who have never played Horizon Zero Dawn or Last of Us to get the remaster or remake. Okay, you know, fair enough. I get I get where people are coming from. It's the highest fidelity. It looks the best. It's the newest version. Cool. Makes sense. Um, if you're new to Horizon Zero Dawn or Last of Us or any game for that matter, why would you buy the full price $70 option if you don't even know that you're going to like it? What if you hate Horizon Zero Dawn? What if you hate Last of Us? Would you really buy a $70 remaster slash remake of both? I don't think so. Because you could try out Last of Us Remastered right now for free on PlayStation. And Horizon Zero Dawn is like 10 maybe 20 bucks. So, in my opinion, you would just try those out to see if you even like the game to begin with before spending 70 bucks on a remake from a series you've never even tried before. So, the argument to me, well, oh, this is great for new people, it really isn't, though, because there's cheaper, more affordable alternatives already on PS5. Also, Horizon Zero Dawn already got a PS5 patch. Sure, it's not going to be the same as a remaster or remake would be, absolutely, but, I mean, it's close enough to where we really don't need this. Especially because the game is only five years old. I didn't think Last of Us needed a remake because it's barely aged, especially with the remaster. This especially doesn't need a remaster or remake. So it's it's pretty ridiculous in my opinion. Because like, okay, I get it, right? Development is hard. This is easy money for Sony. I get that. But at the same token, it's just like they're already charging us 70 bucks, which should not be the case. I don't care. No game on planet Earth is worth $70 in my honest opinion. Too bad. Too bad. I don't care what it is. 60 bucks or get out of my way. So, yeah. That's for starters. And then, second of all, they're making all these free-to-play games coming out, which... Ugh, they're making a ton of free-to-play live servers, which, again, I get it. It helps them build up revenue and stuff easier than just waiting for AAA games. I get it, but I really... I don't like it because people like to say that's not going to slow down game development. It absolutely will. Same with this Horizon Zero Dawn remaster. This is going to slow down development. How? Because uh, people have to work on the game. It's, it's that simple. If people have to work on something, it's going to take time away from something else they, that they could have been working on instead. That is an opportunity cost, boys and girls. So, yeah, I mean, I don't... 
any defense towards this and towards the last list remake i just simply don't buy i mean yeah the last list remake looks cool looks great and all but like why is it full price why is there a remake of it at all why is there even a rumor of a horizon zero dawn remaster slash remake i don't care how much it is it could be five dollars it could be five cents why are we living in an era where a game not even five years old is um, getting a remaster slash remake? What type of logical sense does that make? And also, who is this for? Is my question. It's clearly not for new people, as I mentioned before. They would just try out the PS4 version because it has PS5 enhancements already. And new people wouldn't even know if they like the game unless they try it. So why would they waste 70 bucks on a remaster or remake? I certainly wouldn't. That's just not the smart thing to do. So what if you don't like it? Well, then you wasted 70 bucks. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. So, I mean, multiplayer game, that's cool. But uh, quite honestly, I don't really care about that. <laughs> I'm just going to... I mean, I'm a mainly single-player person. So I don't really care about multiplayer. I hope it's good for people who are looking for that, but... For me personally, I I don't really care. But I have nothing against this, may I add. Because, like, yeah, Horizon multiplayer, people would play that, and that's genuinely interesting and a new idea. This is a waste of everybody's time, money, and resources. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling that. And it's just, like... It, this was also the reason why I didn't defend The Last of Us remakes. I'm just like, okay, if I defend this, if I even buy this, which I have not and will not, um, it's just going to lead to more ridiculous remasters and remakes from Sony, and here we are. Coincidence? I think not. And now I do know this is probably tied to the Horizon show, and that's cool. That's great. You know what? That makes sense. But there was many other ways to do this. You know the Horizon 2 DLC that's been rumored for a while and probably real? Cool, why don't you release that around the launch of the Horizon show or movie or whatever it is. I forget what it is, but why not do that? That would be great, because then that's a new thing, not a remaster of a game that's already on PS4. Like, what, what are we doing here? And see... I'm okay with remasters and remakes. Quite honestly, I love remasters and remakes because it gives a new generation a way to play classic games they may not have otherwise been able to. But remakes and remasters like Last of Us and Horizon Zero Dawn have no reason to exist because they're already on current platforms. Remasters and remakes, in my honest opinion, should be saved for games that are not on current platforms. What about the PS3 library? Oh, well, it, it's on PS Plus Premium. No, I, it's streaming. I don't, I really don't count that. So, why not give us some PS3 remasters and remakes? You could charge 70 for those. I still think $70 price tag is ridiculous. But, sure. You know, for that, I'd be much more willing. Because, you know what? Those are games that we haven't seen in a while. What about an infamous 1 and 2 collection? What about... All the PS3 Ratchet and Clank games in one collection, remastered slash remade for 70 bucks. What about Jack and Daxter? Sure, you could play the PS2 version that was remastered from PS4, but what about like a remake? Something that doesn't still look like it's from the PS2. That would be cool, because Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart looks amazing, so Jack and Daxter could as well. Sly Cooper, all four games, remade slash remastered. Killzone Trilogy. I mean, why not? Resistance Trilogy. I mean, there's so many. The God of War stuff. I mean, I know God of War 3 is remastered on PS4, but what about 1 and 2? Bring those over. I still think it's weird that only 3 was remastered and brought over to current platforms, so why not 1 and 2? So, see, if they really want to go down this remaster and remake route, there's so many better alternatives than games that are already available at extremely cheap prices on PS4 and PS5, no problem. So yeah, I this generation so far, Sony is disappointing me. I'm gonna be honest. Between all this, between seventy dollars, between even one of their major releases, Gran Turismo Seven, 
I was super excited for it, but guess what? Riddled with microtransactions, even though it is a full price $70 game, and it's a live service game, so it barely had any content at launch, and they're still putting out updates. It's just like, guys, 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 you cannot be doing live service games for full price product. Like, that just does not fly at all so like and it's always online which is dumb as hell too it's just like why so i mean they fixed some of the stuff since launch but my argument is it shouldn't have even been that way at launch like what like you you shouldn't have to release a game wait for backlash from fans to realize oh wait some of this stuff actually shouldn't be in the game or should be dialed down a bit just like yeah no really like it's just like Come on now. And they've been doing that a lot this generation. Remember the Forbidden West debacle? It was said that it was going to be a free upgrade, right? Totally cool. Totally fine. The pre-orders come up. It's a $10 fee. Uh, what happened there? Oh, wait. Oh, gee, oh, golly. And then like a week or two later, they went back on it. It's just like, what? how do you get something as basic as a upgrade fee incorrect? Like, it's just like, what is going on at Sony? Like, honestly, between... Dumb and, quite honestly, useless <laughs> remasters and remakes between $70 games, between all this other stuff. It's just like, guys, what is actually happening? PS4 was an amazing system, one of my favorite systems of all time. But this generation, I'm really not feeling it for PlayStation, quite honestly. And if this does end up being real, we all need to put our foot down. I don't care how much it is. It could be a $10 remaster. Okay, cool, fine. Nobody better buy it then. Because right now everybody's outraged about this, which is cool and all, because like I, I agree, but put your money where your mouth is. I, I always try to, for sure, because it's just like, well, especially with The Last of Us remake, when it was first rumor, I'm just like, oh, cool, Last of Us remake, you know, I might actually look into that, because I like the first game a lot, so I'm just like, hey, would be cool to play again, right? Um, and then we saw it. There was no differences, the multiplayer was taken out, and, <laughs> and it was full price. And I'm just like, oh, well, I'm not buying that crap. And I still haven't, because... Honestly, if I want to play Last of Us, I could play it for free right now. Because the remaster is free for everybody who has PlayStation Plus, which most PlayStation gamers have. So it's just like... Ugh. Man, oh man. Sony has such a rich back catalog of history that they could take remasters and remakes from. That's what bothers me the most. It's not like Sony is new to the block and the only games that they made were PS4 games. Even then, I would be like, well, why are we remastering or remaking this? But it's just, I just, I don't get it. I don't, like, I honestly don't understand who it's for, who this is for. It's not for new people, that's for sure. Is it for hardcore fans? I guess, if they really like wasting money, but I sure don't. So it's just like, well, who is this for? And again, no not to accessibility options. That's fantastic. But why are accessibility options blocked behind a paywall, essentially? Why can't they just be added to Horizon Zero Dawn right now for free? I think they easily could. So I don't I don't really I don't really know how accessible these accessibility options are considering they're behind a paywall. So <laughs> I do I really call that accessibility options? Not particularly. Now, and that was one of the features for Last of Us Part 1, which is great, amazing. There was amazing accessibility options there, and I'm all for that. But again, it's behind a $70 paywall. And you're telling me that they really could not have just put that in the Last of Us Remastered? I don't think so. I think they could have if they really wanted to. So yeah, this is kind of my rant about Sony. Um, I'm disappointed in how it's going. And... Before I end this, this is not all doom and gloom. I'm not saying like, oh my god, Sony's going to fail. Oh my god, I hate Sony's guts or anything. No, no, no. I'm just, I'm very disappointed, especially coming from how great the PS4 era was. I'm very disappointed right now. 
not to the point where it's going to be like, oh man, I'm going to sell my PS5. No, of course not. There's still plenty of games coming out that are actually new games or remakes of games that make sense that I'm genuinely interested in. Dead Space Remake, I never played Dead Space Trilogy because there's lots behind PS3 and 360. That game should be remade. Demon Souls Remake was a launch title remake, and that's perfect. It was stuck behind PS3. Excellent. Spider-Man 2 Wolverine, I'm a huge superhero fan. Sign me up. Those, I'm very excited for. I was going to say those are looking great, but we really haven't seen any gameplay from those, so I can't say. Um... Nessio Republic remake, I mean, it might be delayed now because of the recent news, but even still, I'm excited for that in the future. That's going to be great. That's a game that should absolutely get a remake because it's not on modern platforms. Makes sense. Um, Final Fantasy 16 looks amazing. It's by the dude who made Final Fantasy 14, so I'm very excited as a new Final Fantasy fan. I'm getting it day one. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, I love the original Final Fantasy VII Remake. Hit me up with some more of that. So, as you can see, there's plenty of PS5 exclusives that I'm very excited for. I'm just, I'm just disappointed in the PR and all this other stuff that they're doing. It's just, I don't get it, and it feels very cash-grabby to me. It does. I know people throw that word around like they throw around the word Monopoly, but... To me, this is the definition of cash grab. Again, even if it's a $10 remake, it's just like, why? I mean, people don't like to do this, but let's compare it to their competitor, Xbox. They just give this stuff away for free. So even if it is a remaster, why can't you just give it away for free? I don't see why not. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed with everything. Hopefully this rumor isn't even real. But since there are so many um, credible people who are saying that this is legit, it's probably legit, unfortunately. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of, well, Sony's current trajectory <laughs> right now. I don't think it's the best, but it's definitely not as bad as early PS3 days. We, yeah, like, it's, it's getting to that level, I'll be honest. Like, it's getting there, but it's not quite there yet. Like, they would have to do some major fuck-ups here. Like, for starters, this Horizon Zero Dawn would have to be a $70 remake with no upgrade path, and then they would just have to do, like, remakes of, like, God of War 2018 and shit like that. If they keep doing stuff like that, then, oh boy, it's gonna be ugly. And I sincerely hope that this rumor isn't real, or if it is, which it seems like is the case, I sincerely hope this is the last time they do something like this, but I have a feeling this topic is going to come up again. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and yeah, thanks for watching.